Okay, YouTubers, here we go again. We are doing more upgrades to my uh, um, my LS brand tractor, the MT four sixty eight. Um, the original lighting is just a standard halogen light bulb in that uh, light fixture. The um, I think it's an eight eighty light bulb in that fixture. Get a shot of that. Um, yeah, they're bright, but they're not as bright as I like to have them. Now these are the, these are the two front lights off the cab, off top of the cab, and so in my uh, looking for the next greatest thing for lighting, I ended up running across a uh, fellow YouTuber. Hidden Springs Happenings. Um, he was showing upgrades he did to his LS brand tractor, an MT458. Uh, same basic frame, same basic tractor. So what I got, this 10 horse uh, less on the motor. But he did uh, lighting upgrades. Uh, his first upgrade was to change those halogen bulbs over to a uh, LED bulb, and he's still unhappy with it. So then he went and got online, and uh, I'm putting paper on my part. Ended up on Amazon.com. Now, in his, you can go to his YouTube channel. If I forget to put the, I'll try to put the information down in the comments or whatever the heck for these lights uh, that I that I saw him put on his tractor, and I liked what I saw, so I'm gonna put the same things on my tractor. I've already put. Uh, they're a Nylite brand. I'm not sponsored by them. I am not anyway fully promoting them as the light of the day, whatever. You go by whatever light you prefer, like whatever, put on your tractor, your truck, your four-wheel, your ATV, whatever. UTV, go with that. But anyway, in his, he was very informative as far as getting the, uh, and clicking information for these lights um, on the front we have this six and a half 6.5 light I cannot recall the looms and all that stuff but you know pretty nice looking light overall like I said I already put had to fix it up to where I could leave the stock plug on the tractors wiring harness uh, they include the uh, uh, again, Hidden Springs Happenings included in his uh, parts list for making this upgrade. He also included these plugs for the light to use the existing uh, wiring harness on the tractor to modify it. So that way if he wanted to go back to the originals, to, when he sells it, whatever, he can just plug and play. Did the same thing with mine. Now, I'm going to do something different with mine, uh, because these are uh, a lot brighter than these. And if I can do it, I'll try to edit in a, a shot, just a picture of these lights in, in the dark. And maybe even one of the back lights, because these are the same lights on the back of the cab. Maybe I'll include them, a shot of a picture of that also. In here somewhere I'll, I'll try to my editing ain't quite the greatest at this time but as I'm saying and as I'm rattling on he put the 6.5s on the front on top of the cab on the cab and the mounts and then he went with a four inch light same brand nylite same basic shape the mounting brackets are really the same the same for both the four inch and the 6.5s but because I know I don't plan on being out in the dark that much, but if I am, it's going to be when I'm moving snow during the winter months, whenever that would just happen. And I have decided I want these lights on the back also because they are very bright. Um, the center is kind of a spotlight. 
sort of put a beam, solid beam down down the way, and then the others are kind of a floodlight. They just flood the area with light. Like I said, I'll try to get a picture edited in here somehow, and and uh, so you can at least see the how bright these lights are. So anyway, that's where I'm at. Now one other thing that uh, Hidden Spring Happenings also did was he changed the wiper blades. Uh, these tractors they have a front and a rear wiper motor on them, wiper on them, which is great. But they only had about a 14 or 15 inch long wiper on the front and the back. Um, the front, I went to a 16 inch wiper. It is a little long, but it'll maybe wipe a little more uh, snow, rain, whatever out of my out of my visual pattern path. And on the back, I went with a 20-inch wiper. Uh, that way I could, again, clear more off the back window when I'm blowing, trying to blow the snow off the driveway out of the, and out of the way and all that. But anyway, I have killed six going on seven minutes of your day so far. Uh, let me get uh, those plugs soldered onto those lights and everything. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with my way of doing things. And then... Uh, let me get those lights mounted upon the tractor, and then I'll at least show you what it looks like on the tractor when I've done project and idea wise so far with my LS MT468. So hang in there, and I will try and get you something to look at and consider for your own tractor, no matter what the brand. Hang in there. And YouTubers, just because I like to to protect the wire as best as possible much as possible as you can see i have split wire loom uh, on both pigtails for the lights um, you could probably use quarter inch but instead again i'm not sponsored by do not the affiliation with this particular brand this is what i picked up at the uh, farm and home store local here uh, and I just use a 3 8 diameter uh, sp split loom, split loom, flex tubing, whatever you want to call it. And this protect the wires. And I, of course, I zip tied the ends to hold it in place so it doesn't come off. And at this point, hey, we get the tractor. So uh, again, hang in there. And I'll uh, try and show you this thing all mounted up. Okay, and those of you on YouTube that just want to know what the tractor lights that originally came on the tractor looked like, these are them. They're the ones I'm changing out for the uh, lights I'm going to put on. Um, it's, just, it's all simple plug and play. Just take one bolt. I can't see what I'm pointing at. Take, take the plug loose from the wire, from the light bulb, and then undo the one bolt on the mounting bracket and uh, put the new mounting bracket on, new light on and you wind up looking more like here's an after on the front here's what my front looks like after I put the lights on them and like I said they are very bright and very pleased with that outcome uh, the lights do have, these lights do have a two year warranty on them and all that, like I said I am not sponsored by them no way, no how, none of that stuff. But, uh, yeah. And because I am kind of a neat freak, just real quick, I found a cat litter box, or cat litter bucket. Litter uh, this is in my wife's pile of stuff. One of her corners of plunder. Because I wanted to store a chain and a clevis neatly in the tractor and not to worry about uh, catching a chain link in the door and busting the door or whatever. Um, well, with that uh, particular bucket there, uh, just to put chain and a clevis in, just to have on the tractor at all times. Never know. Might need to need a chain for something. But uh, yeah, we got that that Mickey Mouse idea going there. We got lighting project going. So hang in there. I'll be right back here shortly with you. Okay, YouTubers, here you go. There's the new LED 6.5. Uh, lights from Nylite that I uh, acquired off of Amazon. Um, 
and like I said, go to Hidden Springs Happenings to see if I, if I, I don't get the part number stuff included. Go to his channel. He's got his lighting project stuff on there. Go take a look at it. Basically same tractor, same frame and everything, same cab. But he's got the information on there as far as part numbers and all that. Um, and then here's the front. Also with a 6.5 LED night lights on it also. Uh, now one thing I, he and I both have done different is the mounting bracket, mounting plate that those lights hook onto. Um, the original hole is lower. We went up higher and put another hole in the bracket mounting plate on the tractor and that way the light is up higher. I like that. That worked out really well. Uh, just had to make sure I put something between the light bracket and the and the uh, windshield so they didn't bust through and bust the light. And then uh, we went and uh, so we got that project done. Uh, there again, another reason to do the lighting. Like I said before, I've probably said I don't know. Uh, I've these original lights on the grill, uh, your headlights, and the work light there. Um, I used them one time. I was not very impressed with their ability to light the area up because it's like this big loader on here and that bar grill grill guard on it. It's like a set of blinders. Uh, kind of limits your light coming out ahead of your bucket. So that's one reason. And one reason why I went to the other light, LED light. The reason is the original halogen lights were up on the cab and those light fixtures. It just kind of gave a goldish uh, tint to the area. It didn't really light up as much as I'd hoped it would. Um, so I'll try to get a picture edited in this if I haven't already of these lights on. Just a picture of it um, and all that. But anyway, other projects. Okay, so we've done lighting on this tractor since we've received it. Taking possession of it. We have put bolt-on hooks, bolt-on hooks, uh, bought their hook, and then their half-inch clevis mounts, put them on the bucket. By the way, I had to go buy a three-and-a-half-inch bolt, grade eight half-inch bolt, uh, to be able to hook these two plates together. Um, you know, bolt on hooks. He does ship you the hardware to mount these on just the, the bucket of the tractor, but they're just for the thin, you know, long to get through all this, not through that. But anyway, so yes, bolt on hooks, both sides. Good idea. Uh, feel lost without the hooks on there. So we did that. We did. That's two, project two. Project three was the wiper blades. Um, I want a bigger wiper blade, take more, open the, um, my sight, pat the sight up a little bit. So I went from a, about a 14 inch wiper to a 16 inch wiper. Uh, so that works out. And then, uh, also on the wiper project. Come back here on the back. That also was about a 14 or 15 inch wiper. I went to a 20. 20 inch wiper blade on there. So that way I got more, clear more area off so I have a better, better path of vision, line of sight when I, when I am out in a situation. More than likely, that's gonna be running the snow blower. Um, another thing you're gonna, you guys are probably already chuckling at, you've seen the, uh, cat litter bucket sitting here in the corner of the front corner of the cab. That is for a chain and clevis, a little bit of an OCD, neat freakish type. I want to have a chain on the tractor with a clevis and I did not just want to have it laying loose in the floorboard. End up breaking the window on the door or whatever, so opted for found that bucket 
laying one of my wife's corners of plunder. I acquired it, done that. Another thing I did, I took a idea from the trucking industry. Several of you folks out there that have either worked on these LS brand tractors or you own the LS brand tractor, whatever, have complained about the lug bolt and nut coming loose on the hubs for your rims. So I kind of took an idea from the trucking. Trucking has a thing they put in with their in on their lug nut, point in one direction, L point in one direction. And over time, if that comes loose, it'll flick out or whatever. And the trucker can from just a uh, line of sight, you know, they'll look at it and go, Oh, I got a loose, loose lug nut, whatever. So, anyway, what I've done, as you can tell, I made, took a paint pen, made a mark on the rim and on the flat of the nut or lug nut, lug bolt. So, at a glance, I can tell if that has come loose. Otherwise, I'm going to be looking for a uh, line of rust coming off of that out on that paint of that rim. Did it to the both front tires and I also did it to the rear. Not sure what you can see, but yeah, I done it back here on the hub where it hooks on the hub hooks on the hub of the axle and on here. And I hope that's in the video. It's kind of hard for me to see. In the, in here, but anyway, I've done that. Let me go to the other side. I'll see it better on the other side. Yeah, there you go. That's what I did. I even marked the flat and on the rim so I can tell when that hardware might possibly come loose. Just like up here on the might come loose, I got it marked. Uh, that's really the only Mickey Mouse things I've done to this tractor since I've acquired it. Uh, lighting, bolt on hooks, Mickey Mouse thing for quick reference on the lug nuts, wiper blades. I think that's about all I'm going to do with it for now. Something to store chain in. Yeah, and the reason for doing the bucket is so I could have the chain on the tractor, but that's all the bigger toolbox they, the tractor comes with. Um, I'm not impressed with it. But it's big enough I can put some uh, couple different sized uh, hit, put some hitch pins in it. Some uh, three point adapters to go from category one to category two hitch because this tractor is a category two uh, three point hitch on it. That's what it has. Like I said, this is a utility model, no longer a compact model. Um, and so far I've been very pleased with with the tractor. Uh, another thing that has happened, it has a um, diesel particulate filter for a muffler. I hate, I don't like it. Uh, puttering around, doing fine work, doing grade work and whatever, I don't have a tractor wide open to do that work. I have it idled down quite a bit to be a more controlled situation. At 15 hours, this thing went into regen. Um, so I had to sit there and just let the thing scream and burn out that dang muffler for 15 minutes. Get through its cycle and be happy. It's going to be something I'm going to have to deal with. But anyway, on that note, I'm going to let you all go. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Hopefully some of these ideas might be ideal. Some idea you want to do to your tractor, no matter what the brand. I don't care if it's LS, Case IH. New Holland, John Deere, Massey Ferguson, TYMs. I don't care what your tractor is. If any of this stuff, these ideas, you can do it your own tractor. But anyway, on that note, hey, guys, take care. I'll catch you on the next one.